if we continue business as usual in terms of our addiction to not just oil uh, but all fossil fuels, we are going to see tensions rise, competition in the marketplace could conceivably become conflict on the battlefield over these increasingly expensive and increasingly precious supplies. So what we need to do is take a look at the three challenges of energy, climate change, and national security and say, how can we turn those challenges into an opportunity? And there, I think, is a good news story if we in the United States can get the right kinds of policies in place at the Washington level, at the Sacramento level, at the, at the county and, and city levels to really, really place a premium on clean energy technology, whether that's things that relate to energy efficiency or whether it is to increase our energy portfolio, the sources of energy that we need to expand beyond fossil fuels. Let's talk about that. Should, what role should the military play in, in doing that? Should the military uh, invest in R&D to, uh, to develop some of these technologies? The, mili the internet grew out of the military. Sure. Uh, why not uh, some clean energy things? It's a good example. Internet, uh, and I would add uh, GPS, initially developed by the Air Force and the Navy for uh, military operations, but DOD can and is playing a good role in developing technologies, principally for military missions, but potentially will have some good benefits to the wider civilian population and the wider civilian economy. That's what I would call spin-out technology, whether it's the development of uh, algae-based jet fuel, for example, uh, or whether it's uh, something to do with energy efficiency. There's another aspect of this, and that is the military can uh, serve as a great customer, a market creator, Mm -hmm. for some of the entrepreneurial uh, technologies that are out there in the civilian world, and we can spin in those technologies to help the military carry out their mission in a more effective way by greater energy efficiency and a broader choice beyond fossil fuel. Now, clearly, this isn't going to happen overnight. We didn't get addicted uh, in the military or in, uh, in the national sense to fossil fuel overnight, and we're not going to get off it overnight. The key, though, is to recognize the urgency and the seriousness of our growing addiction and to start taking those prudent measures I mentioned earlier now.